So why does a fake movie plane appear to draw so much attention in the aviation world? Let's have a closer look. Top Gun Maverick has become a monumental success at the box office. But the producers couldn't have done it without the leveraging and the expertise of some of the world's foremost experts in aerospace. That includes tapping into the minds of Lockheed Martin and their skunk work engineers to craft their physics and mind-bending design of the Dark Star hypersonic jet. Without wanting to give away too much of the plot in the movie, the Dark Star features early in the movie while Pete Maverick, played by Tom Cruise, carries out his duties as a test pilot for the US Navy. The futuristic fighter jet is draw-dropping and the introduction of the plane at the beginning of the movie is just unreal and it may strike a familiar chord with aviation enthusiasts due to its likeness to one of history's most revered aerial vehicles, the SR-71 Blackbird, of which we have a shorter video in our collection. I will add a link to that video at the end of this video. The producer of the film said they lowered the aircraft a little to make it look sleeker and faster, but praised the mind-blowing design of the cockpit and compelling visuals as it helped create the film's amazing opening sequence. But what makes an idea without great commitment to reality so successful? Well, one of the reasons is certainly the fact that the Dark Star model is very detailed. The model can be either towed like a normal plane and its surfaces convince that it is something capable of flying, according to those who have seen it up close. Another possible reason for this plane to create so much interest in the aviation world is the aviation people have been waiting for a spectacular new aircraft to come along and take over these super high speeds. And this aeroplane fits that technological era. But to get down to the more realistic facts about this aeroplane, to carry out missions across the globe in reality, an aeroplane of this speed would need larger dimensions than Tom Cruise's plane as the fuel capacity would not allow for it to go very far. In the end, the make-believe plane looks more like a re-imaging of the Blackbird rather than an authentic Lockheed Martin suggestion of what a real hypersonic aircraft would look like. 